Hi guys, this is Dave again. I don't know if I told you my name in the first one, Dave. This episode is talking about insulation because where I live, you have to have, to pass inspection, R30 insulation. Now, if you have two by six rafters, which a lot of us, most of us, almost all of us in this area have, it's impossible to get R30 unless you pad out your rafters um, down to like 10 inches and if you do that then you've got no space left so they recommend you go in and you spray foam it or whatever well if you're doing it yourself you're obviously probably not able to afford spray foam so that's out of the question so this is the poor man's way to get R30 and 2x6 joists this is the insulation I'm working with this is 2 inch polyurethane foam insulation with a fiber facing I guess it's called so this has like paper in it and fiberglass and I will tell you yes it does have fiberglass this is torture to cut and work with you gotta cover every square inch of your body and you end up itchy and your hands are burning and just gets all over and stays with you a couple of days each one of these boards two inches thick is roughly R 11.4 I think yes one inch is 5.7 so two inches is 11.4 so to get R30 you have to have at least three layers of this stuff so three layers will be six inches deep well I have two by six rafters as most of us do down here you can see that up there I've already installed half this insulation I wanted to do this video before it was all installed so you could see how to seal it and all and most shingles actually require ventilation and the ventilation that is pretty standard is one and a half inches between the insulation and the roof decking itself so the way you get that spacers one and a half inches this is just by ripping down if you can see this ripping down any sort of two by stock which is actually one and a half inches put a little bit of liquid nails on the back of these spacers and I just spaced them out like two or three feet and then once you do that then you have your spacing that holds two layers of foam away from it so you can put a layer of foam layer of foam and it comes flush Our third layer of insulation is almost in. I'm gonna take a moment right now to show you how we fastened it. It goes right across the ceiling rafters lengthwise. And we fastened it with some really long three inch, three and a quarter inch plus pan head type screws with one inch washer. Then we'll come back in and fill in these little gaps with some foam. So you see all that dust in the air? That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. That's what it looks like when you're cutting this foam. You can cut this stuff really easily with a handsaw. But I'm using this uh, old Mag 77 skill saw to cut most of it. Cuts like butter, but creates a huge mess. Just an example of the debris everywhere. Little bits of, well, some of that is spray foam, but it's just all over. All right. Oh no, I just realized I missed one. I was going to say, now I've gone back and got all three layers of insulation installed. And then we're ready to go back and foam. You can see how we work around these top plates. 
cut around all the uh, collar ties up here. This is the bathroom shower. Very careful fitment. And then we're going to come back in and foam all these cracks everywhere, all the gaps, with great stuff or some other polyurethane foam variant. But let's go back and put that one last piece in there. And I just vacuumed. Dad gum. All the joints sealed, all the collar ties sealed, around all the studs. Let's see. All this delicate work in this bathroom. I had to piece all this together because it's so tight. Got everything sealed up tight. Let's see, I even went back in and sealed up here behind so you can see the the gap going up in there so that is one and a half inches all the way from the soffits down there it won't focus it's a little too dark in here Let's see if i can creep it down creep it down that works all the way up to the ridge way up in there and then we foam everything in here so the moist air that comes up from the soffits doesn't go up under the insulation in any way, shape, or form. It just goes straight up behind this insulation all the way to the ridge vent up there. Now all we got left to do is throw some R30 bats across here before you throw in the drywall and some R13 bats in there. And it cost about $1,200 for all of that foam board versus four to 6,000 for spray foam. Thanks for watching.